Peace to the gods. Peace to the goddesses. So real quick, I wanted to come on here. If y'all haven't already heard the news, free the three, free Rashad Jamal. If you don't know who these individuals are, then you need to do your research. But I'm just here to ratify and clarify the record on the record for the record. Anybody who's connected to three, anybody who's connected to Rashad Jamal, just know right now in this period of time, there's a major spiritual attack going on for anybody that's expressing your, your spirit uh, to a point of freedom. So when you're going through your spiritual ascension, your spiritual walk, you have to stay in alignment with the principles of the of the laws that govern society. So this is called politics. You got to stay informed of the policies or else if you move outside of your statute, they will correct your order. They will correct your order if you move outside of your statute. So this is why it's important that while you're going through your spiritual ascension and you're awakening other individuals that you also have an understanding of what the policies, the ordinances, and the codes that govern your circumference. It don't, it don't matter where you are, when you're going through a spiritual experience, you're still inside of a grid. It's called a county. And your county is inside of another grid that's called a state. So you have state and county codes or ordinances that you are governed or regulated by as you're simply an energetical being. So right now, what we're going to talk about is the law of bankruptcy for anyone going through any commercial, political, statutory claims. This is how you get around and over and win when it comes to dealing with the system. Now, before I get into it, I got to let you know some of my mentors will be livid to see me on here even sharing this particular information but because I, I just realized what's going on is a spiritual attack, I'm going to go ahead and share it. Give me a second. This is the law of bankruptcy. This was given to me by a former judge, right? This was published in 2000. There's a few things you have to understand when it comes to dealing with the courts, right? Um, the first thing that you have to understand is that if you do not correct your status with the courts, then you're going to be you're going to continue putting yourself in a position where the Law and order dominates you. So you'll never be able to mentally be free if you have another group of beings or an organization that's still in the position of dominating or if we're using the reference of chess, they're still checkmating you. So check it out. All of the courts of the United States are bankruptcy courts operating under Title 11 of the Bankruptcy Code. The bank. This is the Bankruptcy Reform Act. Don't just believe me. Go Google this yourself. The Bankruptcy Reform Act of 1978. They this they repealed the former Bankruptcy Act of 1898 and replaced that act with something even more effective. October 1st, 1979. So since 1979, we've been operating all courts. If you've dealt with anything civil, if you've dealt with anything common, if you've dealt with anything statutory, has been in the dealings of a bankruptcy court. Now, check this out. But you, you have to understand this public law 95-598 provided that the existing rules governing practice and procedure in some cases under the bankruptcy code are to remain in effect until repealed or suspended by new rules. Right. This is this is pursuant to Section 2072 of Title 28 of the United States Code, USC. This is their judiciary procedures. Listen, these rules, these new rules known as the bankruptcy rules and official forms are they were prescribed by the order of the Supreme Court on April 25th, 1983. This is why since April 25th, you've seen a list of spiritual attacks that started happening on the spiritual community. It could even be you or somebody even directly in your own family where actually circling, making a full circle back around to a huge policy shift. As I read, this is pursuant to Section 2075 of Title 28. I said that of the United States Code, which empowers the Supreme Court to, pres to prescribe general rules, the forms of processes, writs and pleadings, as well as motions in order to practice laws in and procedures 
underneath the bankruptcy code. So the this bankruptcy code granted the Supreme Court, which is the Supreme Court of the land, the power to motion, the power to write, a.k.a. writs, the power to form processes, a.k.a. forms and procedures, and the power to practice these procedures. So you have to over and understand the bankruptcy law and how it pertains to courts if you have anything to deal with courts. Check me out. Since the repeal of the dollar under H.J.R. 192 or Public Resolution 73-10 on June 5, 1933, the United States was put under the laws of bankruptcy as well as all of the courts. All of the courts. The bankruptcy code is the supreme law of the land and the supreme court is the bankruptcy court of the land. So I don't want to hear anything about court proceedings if you aren't speaking of the bankruptcy code because that's the supreme law of the land. The bankruptcy code is superior to the uniform commercial code. It's superior to the UCC. And it's so stated in the UCC under section 103.20. You can look this up for yourself. So if you're dealing with any court situations, you need to understand what, how the court is set up. The fact that since 1933, the dollar was repealed. All courts went into the nation itself, went into a state of emergency. So that therefore all courts now have to regulate the bankrupts, the, the bankrupt accounts of their nation, the, the entities that govern them, which means every time you're dealing with court, they're, they're imposing fines and fees on you because the nation is bankrupt. So they have to collect in order to get them, the nation themselves and whoever created the nation out of bankruptcy. So you're literally paying for someone else's bankruptcy. So check this out. This is the solution. Whenever a complaint is filed against a defendant, whether it's a traffic ticket, a civil or a criminal criminal ticket, the plaintiff, which is the creditor, they're actually making a claim against the debtor under Section 501 and 105A of Title 11 of the Bankruptcy Code. What does this all mean? This means that the word claim, right, under Section 101-4A of Title 11 means a right to payment. So when a government entity or organization or even a person makes a claim on you that you they claim that you did this or you did that, that literally means a right to payment, meaning that you they're asking you to pay for the debt. That it is that we just spoke of in order to get the system out of bankruptcy. It has nothing to do with you except for the fact that you're an artificial person. You're a number. You're a factor that can be put into a factory and organized and shipped for product to produce. Check this out. Whenever a complaint is filed, the word claim means right to payment. The word debt under Section 101.2 of, of Title uh, of, of the Bankruptcy Code means a liability on a claim. So whoever is in debt means you are liable or you have liability on a claim. So what you must do in order to free yourself from its legal tyranny, if you've been arrested or being prosecuted or dealing with the courts, you consented to it. It's illegal, but it's not lawful. They, they are not moving outside of the bounds of legality because all is consented. You as God in the flesh, you as an angel in the flesh, you as God is in the flesh, have consented to everything that has happened to you in your life. No thing. There's nothing that's happening to you that you're not consenting to. You're either conscious of it or unconsciously consenting to it. And that's the trap. You have to understand that the reason that they arrested three, three God and arrested Rashad Jamal is due to their status. Once you correct your status, your political standing, because you're literally operating in a state and a state is a municipality. It's a business, it's a corporation and you are doing business inside of the corporation. So you got to come on the record, clear the record so that your actual spirit can be respected. This is what it means to put some respect on your name. Please, y'all share this video to them so that they understand there's a procedure that only deals with 
the courts being bankrupt due to the nature of the system. Do y'all understand? This is why they can enforce a pandemic and then print off. They can sign some papers and then print off trillions of dollars. It's because it's has to now it's consented. It's a system. So this is what you do under section 502, the debtor, which is the plaintiff, or excuse me, is, is the defendant must file an objection to the claim or it will be allowed. This is the law of bankruptcy shared to me by a judge who's been practicing law for the past 20, 25 years. Before I, I got deep into any commercial movements, this was gifted to me to understand how to win courts. And this is why I have been successful. Last year, we went 4-0 with court cases. This year, we're currently 2-0 with court court proceedings, I should say, because that's the proper term. Because of understanding the way the court is set up and how to actually communicate. The only way to be subject to the bankruptcy code is to be a debtor as that term is defined in section 109 of title 11 of the bankruptcy code. The only way to be subject, subject means underneath, under the rule, to the bankruptcy code is to be a debtor as that term is defined in section 109 of title 11 of the bankruptcy code. Notwithstanding, meaning not without any other provision of this statute, only a person, a only a person, a person we know is an artificial entity, a person. You are not a person. You are a spirit. I'm not going to go deep into the etymology, just staying on the point here. Only a person that resides or has a domicile, a place of a business or property in the United States or a municipality may be a debtor. Only a person that has a place of business, a municipality, or resides in the United States or has a domicile in the United States can be a debtor. Clear the record. Who are you on their records? Do they know that you're the spirit or are you just consciously proclaiming that message? You have to declare the proclamation. You have to literally declare it. It's all paper. If they put you and behind bars and they arrest you, they're putting it on paper. They're warning you. That's why it's called a warrant. Warrant this. Warrant this. They're letting you know. Addressing you because they're moving in a space of nobility. And you can only speak to noblemen through addresses. Do you? Do y'all follow what I'm saying? So you have to move in a particular royal order. I'm speaking to the royal family here. Right? So, now I know you understand. A municipality under section 101.29 means political subdivision or public agency or instrumentality of the state. A state under section 101.52 includes the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. We know this. And, ex and expect, except for the purpose of defining who may be a debtor under, under chapter 9 of this title. This is... This has to do with a mailing address with zip codes, which establishes your res or your residency within the United States. Also, your signature on the SS5 application or your driver license application or that mortgage application or that card note application. All those can create what's called your res within the District of Columbia, right? The District of Columbia, we know that's the United States is the District of Columbia inside of that square. This is why you have to correct the square, which is squares the box you check off when you're filling out forms. Check off the right box so you're not subject to their terms, their rules, their procedures. Anyways, your signature can be revoked if you have checked off these boxes under 2-608. 2-608 of the UCC by notice of revocation. Simple. Revoke the signatures first while you're making the objection to the claim so that they cannot try you as res as you have now revoked that status. You revoked that unconscious consent that you have given to them. Now, the only way that this can be stopped is to file a counterclaim. The only way that a proceeding can be stopped, and this is free to three, free Rashad Jamal. It's unfortunate what's happened to them. It's unfortunate what's been happening to the black man. Momentary pause in the past 
90, 60 to 90 days, we've seen black, the most black on black crime publicly. They got Will Smith, black man, slapping Chris Rock, black man. Then they got Dave Chappelle being attacked by another black man. Then they got, they're arresting the spiritual speakers out here like Rashad Jamal and three from allegations and claims that their own black people is making against them. So we got to, we're literally fighting ourselves while they're sitting back and they're creating more companies and they're monetizing their assets and they're they're building trust, right? So we have to look and see through the veil and realize that it's us, aka not just black, but it's us who are the royal ones versus them who are the wealth, wealthy ones. We, the royal family, have been subjugated for over the, the past 500 to 1,000 years. So now in this great Aquarian age, we're awakening. We're in the middle of a renaissance, literally 100 years ago, the economy was booming it was booming to, to so much to the point to where in 1928 the the world actually went to war because of the status of the economy i digress the only way that you can stop these unlawful this unlawful tyranny is to file a counterclaim under rule 13a of the rules of civil proceedings a counterclaim under the bankruptcy code is a term known as adversary proceeding and is governed by rule 7001 of the bankruptcy code also is governed by rule 7013 rule 13a of this code which is identical in language and provides information for counterclaim and cross claims right they discuss in rule 12 of the civil rules and in 7012 of the bankruptcy codes, they're saying to rule 12 of the civil rules and rule 7012, 7012 for the bankruptcy code are identical in nature. So your civil rules are what govern your civil life, right? So the civil rules have dichotomies or identities, I should say, also in the bankruptcy rules, which Earlier, I said in this life, are supreme are the supreme laws of the land above the UCC. So check this out. The your counterclaim when you're dealing with law, you deal with law through counterclaims. When they give you a warrant or they give you a summons, that's a claim, and a claim is what we already went over. What a claim is means a liar. A claim means under section. 101 for a of title 11 means right to payment. So they're making the claimant. They're trying you to make a payment. The only way that can be stopped is to through a counterclaim. Why are you trying me? Who are you trying me? What gives you the authority to try me when I am a free man? To say you a free man means you are sovereign. Reign. You have the reign of your own sovereignty. So you have to counterclaim any presumptions against you because a presumption becomes an assumption, an assumption if you don't if you don't motion that energy around you they assume that it is talking directly to you check me out the counterclaim is started by answers and denials by affidavit under rule 8d of the rules of civil proceeding the denials cannot be a blanket denial cannot be blank they cannot be a blanket denial but specific denials to each charge and paragraph point for point the claims must be rebutted in the form of an affidavit as that's what stands as truth in commerce, which is law. I hope I'm making myself clear. If anybody who's watching this is connected to Rashad Jamal or three that can get this information to them, this is the information needed not only to free themselves from behind bars and free them as they've been unlawfully prosecuted, but it can also help the individuals that they're influencing gain back a royal power, status, and standing. So we really can start breaking down the matrix from the insides, from the codes, from the programming that it was set up to actually run. This is the goal. This is the royal minister. This is me. This is why I'm coming to you live and direct so that you can in and overstand that when it comes to courts, we're dealing with the law of bankruptcy. We so have been since 1987 since, or 1979, as they say, going back to counterclaims. So because if you want my help, I'm going to charge you for it. I'm going to charge you for my help because I'm in the process of building massive 
wealth and I don't have, I literally can't afford to spend my energy to consume my energy on objects that are not in my realm of existence. I literally have to go outside of my room in order to do videos like this and to spread this information to y'all. So this is why it is it's a cost. If you want to work, I can do the work, but it's me and I have a team and for everyone to move on something that we're not looking into, it's going to cost. You got to pay for that. So if you want me to do the work you now, also side note, last side note, I've been reaching out to Rashad Jamal and I've been reaching out to three uh, which is Nature Boy for the past six months, letting them know what you need to be doing because once you start speaking or writing a certain vibration, there's a, the law of cause and effect. And if you're speaking the codes on spirituality, which is natural law and universal law, then the political law and statutory law, yours, are going to come to your door because now the greatest problem for America today would be the awakening of what's called the sheep. Once the sheep become the the once the white sheep become the black sheep and the the people awaken, then America has a problem. And America is just a it's a concept. It's a place in your head that a group of people got you to believe into. I digress. Look. This is the only way. Counterclaims are started by answers and denials. You have to make a counterclaim in affidavit format. The denials can be blank. They gotta address each point. This is followed by affirmative defenses. Learn affirmative defenses under Rule 8C, which replaces the old confession and avoidance pleading under old English common law. Affirmative defenses, right, are also found in Section 1-103 of the UCC. They are the same as Rule 8C under bankruptcy law. Excuse, listen, under bankruptcy law, this is called color a colorable claim. We all know colorable is synonymous to fictitious. So colorable meaning it's it's not real, but it's like the real thing. Or so uh so giving color to your pleadings by confessing the right of action by avoiding the legal consequences by affirmative defenses. Failure to failure to deny is an admission that the allegations or avertments are true. Failure to deny is an admission that the allegations are true. This is why a lot of patriots, this is why a lot of nationals, this is why a lot of moors, this is why a lot of sovereign, this is why a lot of commercial lawyers, entities, companies, corporations are going to jail and being locked up because your paperwork don't mean shit if you don't understand how to follow a proceeding and stay in honor. That's why you go to court and you address the one that's actually moving in order, your honor, because they're staying in honor, not because they're your honor, but because they stay in honor. Lastly, counterclaims are two types, compulsory or permissive. Compulsory, which is mandatory, counterclaims are those claims that are arising from the same transactions or occurrence that is the subject matter of the opposing party's claim, meaning you're answering directly to the claim. That's the first type of counterclaim, mandatory counterclaim. I'm telling you how to get yourself out of the system. If you're dealing with anything, it don't matter. All courts are bankruptcy courts. This is the law of bankruptcy, free to three, free Rashad Jamal. I'm not even saying it's going crazy. It's just it's just the time. This is the time. If you understand politics and seasons and business, I digress. This is how you present. Uh, what, 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 what to say? This is how you present a rebuttable presumption to their claim. If you read the language of Rule 13A of the Civil Rules in Section 106 of the Bankruptcy Code, the language is very similar under the state or governmental unit which has made a waiver of sovereign immunity. The state, your state has made a waiver for sovereign immunity already. What you, and you still travel through the state without making the same claim. So this is why they can stop you. Because they have on the record are making a waiver, whether it be true or not. Remember, if nobody rebuts it, the claim on the record then it is true. They're going to assume because it was presumed. They're going to assume that it's true. So that's what, that's why you have to make the claim and come to the record clear. Or else you're just another, you're a battery. You're a copper top battery. Literally copper top 
battery that they're using to function. Get what I'm saying now. I digress. This is how you present a, a rebuttable mandatory counterclaim. Um, or it can also be permissive as well. So this this is why if you if a counterclaim uh, uh, if you present a counterclaim they have to reply under rule 7a of the rule of civil proceedings procedures if you do not counterclaim they do not have to reply to anything it don't matter what letters you're sending in it don't matter you have to counterclaim in the form of an affidavit going point for point at their claims that they're addressing to you which you was you already know, you is not even you. They, 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 they're spelling your name in a particular way, which is all capitalized letters, which is not you, but that's the straw, you straw man. Straw means there's nothing really inside of that straw man. It's hay. It's, 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 it's empty, so it's not you. So you showing up on behalf of that business and you are allowing them to do business on the behalf of your name for their profit. Now, that's wicked. They have to reply to a counterclaim under 7A of the rules of proceedings. If you do not counterclaim, they do not have to reply. This is why you have not... This is... uh, Have you ever noticed that they do not answer any of your pleadings? If they don't answer any of your pleadings, this is why. You have waived bringing up any rebuttable presumptions or issues later on. Since you have not counterclaimed, you have... what? You have waived... Bringing up any rebuttable presumptions or issues. You have admitted that the allegations of their complaint are true. And you are presumed to be guilty before the trial. Yes, you are presumed to be guilty before the trial. The law states innocent until proven guilty. But the code states unless there's a rebuttal of said claim, you're guilty until proven innocent. Did y'all just see that switch up? It's the last thing I'm going to say. Since you have not counterclaimed that you have admitted to the allegations of their complaint, you are presumed to be guilty before the trial and have already lost your case. Also, the prosecution cannot continue until the counterclaim has been adjudicated or disposed of. The prosecution cannot continue. The prosecution cannot continue until the counterclaim has been adjudicated or disposed of. This is the collateral estoppel. This is what it's called. It's called a collateral estoppel. This is a challenge in jurisdiction. This is how you stop a case that's running. It's running. You got to stop it. Collateral estoppel. They have to allow you to counterclaim if it is a compulsory or mandatory under Rule 13A. This is because the state. This is because the state has waived its sovereign immunity, meaning they have no claim to sovereignty. They waived it under 106A of Title 11 of the Bankruptcy Code. Another interesting bit of information is that under Rule 9001 for the word court or judge means the judicial officer before whom a case or proceeding is pending. So close out these pending cases. Free the three. All is paperwork. Come correct with your counterclaims. Come correct with the rebuttals. Do not hire no lawyer or an attorney. They are pair. These individuals work for the bar. The bar is the British accredited registry. British British accredited registry. It's a foreign company doing business on land in the states for America. So this is when you get an attorney or a lawyer, you're literally signing agreements and partnerships with the crown the bar british accredited registry they are not for you an attorney literally means to turn over a turn attorney comes from the latin word a turn which means to turn over and they turn over to something that benefits them aka the state when attorneys actually turn over their clients they get paid bonuses by those judges that they have turned their clients into don't get no attorney don't get no lawyer they are not especially for the spare ones, the royal family, which is us, which is we, you, listening to this message. The royal, if you're not of the royal frequency, this message is going to go over your head. They can't, 
they're not here for you. So they're going to turn you over to the state. They're going to turn you over to that judge. You will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of their law, which is their statutes and their codes. And that's the message that I'm bringing to you today. Get this message out to Rashad Jamal and the fam. Get this message out to, to three and carbonation and whoever needs to see this. I put the inform the the answer in this video, what you need to do. If you need me to do it, I'm no longer available for help. I have actual ministers and ministries that I'm uh I actually I'm obligated to help, you know, due to their donations and their contributions, but I can be uh unlocked. <laughs> Basically, you can hire me to help your particular case and scenario. If you're dealing with any court case, I don't care what it is. Or we already don't be commercial. We be civil. We, we're, de we're actually dealing with probate situations right now. So anything that has to do with civil or uh, even commercial, let us know. The answer is in this video. Other than that, y'all stay blessed. Enjoy your Sunday. This is the Royal Minister. Peace.